Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to steal your competitors' emails. Now there's two different ways to do this, and I'm gonna show you both of them, but just before I dive in, make sure you're being ethical with this. Don't just copy and paste. Honestly, it'll do a lot better if you take their ideas as kind of ideas and insights, and then you make it your own. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so the first one is mill.com and basically what mill.com is is it's a compilation of all of these emails and it's basically kind of like a search engine for a ton of different emails that have been sent by a ton of different brands now you can see on their homepage here you can check out national retailers fashion and apparel brands beauty and care brands etc like home and decor there's tons of different options here but they have a really cool search function here and you know let's say you want black friday cyber monday emails so you can search black friday click enter and then you can search for the campaign dates that they were sent on so again this would be from in the last week essentially and you can see okay well these probably aren't going to be like the black friday emails because they're going to be pre-black friday emails so if you look at this it's like oh, okay countdown special black friday starts now so this is kind of like you know pre-black friday type of email anyways there's a lot of examples here right if you change the date range you'll see you could go back last year and look at some of the black friday emails that were sent last year obviously you won't be able to see the ones that are sent this year yet the time of recording this it's the end of october October. So really, really cool feature there. Now, the other cool feature about this is you can actually search for specific brands. So we just onboarded a client and this is one of their competitors, Seeger & Co. And this is one of the brands that they were like, yeah, this is a competitor and we actually quite like their emails. So we went in here and you're able to actually look at this and preview some of the emails that they're sending. So you can go in and be like, oh, okay, cool. You kind of have to gauge like, okay, well, what is this email for, right? It's not going to tell you this is for the welcome series or this is for the abandoned cart or anything like that. But typically you'll get a good sense of what the email is for based off of the language that it has right again another example here this is another competitor of that client we just onboarded and then you can kind of go ahead here and select whatever email based off of you know the type of campaign you might be interested in sending right now so that's the first way to steal your competitors emails now the second way and it's not quite as sexy is sign up to their list what I would recommend is signing up to the list giving it a couple of days seeing what the welcome series looks like Give it a couple more days, you know, three, four days, browse a product, right? Hit a product page, see what their browse abandonment series looks like. Okay, give it another couple of days, you know, two, three days, add to cart, see what that looks like. All right, then initiate checkout. I mean, if you want to go as far as purchasing, go ahead and do that too, right? It can be insightful to look and see what other brands are doing too, especially if you're just getting started off, right? It doesn't make sense to reinvent the wheel. So this can be a really good starting place. And I hope these two tips on how to steal your competitors' emails helped you out.